so this is the last uh, topic in your fifth module so here uh, they have considered uh, a few case studies of the operating system okay so we all know about operating system uh, right it is a system software which helps uh, a user to execute their programs by providing uh, suitable environment or a convenient environment correct so most of the operating system uh, functionalities we have learnt in the respective modules correct so in this uh, last chapter of your module they have taken a case study of linux operating system so everybody is familiar with linux operating system right it is a unix uh, version operating system okay and we have various flavors of linux operating system like uh, red hat uh, and various versions we have fedora we have now okay uh, like that uh, few uh, versions of uh, linux operating systems uh, their uh, uh, existence how they came into existence so those things we will be studying in introduction to the linux operating system okay it was uh, originally developed by the linux uh, community okay so uh, there are f certain v versions of the linux kernel uh, which came into existence like uh, linux uh, version 0, 0.0 that was a very first uh, version of linux kernel so which uh, runs on your uh, 8086 uh, processor okay so uh, which was very older version of the processor which you can able to see in your computer system so nowadays we are not using that one okay uh, that was the version of the linux which uh, we were using in 80386 so later it does not had any support of uh, any additional uh, device driver softwares so later it took uh, another version of the linux which was introduced that was linux 1.0 okay so uh, which which had certain network uh, networking supporting protocols for establishing tcp ip communication okay so along with that uh, it had a few hardware support in the linux 1.0 like uh, cd rom uh, your uh, sound card support floppy disk etc like that we had support in linux 1.0 then it comes to the another version of linux it was 1.2 okay so which had a concept of a bus facility okay so there are various types of bus architectures we come across in computers so in that it has a support of pci peripheral component interconnection bus architecture we call it as so that was the first bus architecture which uh, was supported by your linux 1.2 operating system okay and uh, later we moved to another version of linux it was linux 2.0 okay uh, up to this much whatever the versions we have learned these were meant only for single architecture okay whereas linux 2.0 had a support of multiple architecture processors okay so that was uh, one uh, better version of linux what we can able to observe so next thing is linux 2.2 which is the next advanced version of linux operating system which had uh, uh, the bus uh, architecture of processor like ultra spark architecture which has which is an enhanced version of uh, networking uh, protocols in it which was supported by linux 2.2 the next version was uh, linux 2.6 so in your textbook they have discussed up to the linux version 2.6 the kernel they have discussed and your 2.6 linux kernel had a support of multi processing system okay that is that too symmetric multi processing system support it is having the symmetric multi processing system means you will be having multiple processors in that one processor uh, uh, will uh, all the processors will be uh, sharing the ta uh, sharing the task and they will be doing the work so that's what symmetric multiprocessing system is about so that support is uh, provided by your linux 2.6 kernel so those are the uh, 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 introduction to various versions of the linux operating system